CIETNCERT presents the audio book Our Wondrous World Textbook of EVS for class 3 page 47 chapter 4 getting to know plants so many kinds of plants gopu simi and raj walk to school every day on the way they see beautiful flowers mountains and streams one day gopu exclaimed Isn't nature just amazing? There are so many kinds of plants, birds and insects. I wonder if they all have stories to tell. Simi agreed. Yes, the plants come in so many sizes and shapes. Very tiny, small, large, bushy. Raj added. Thin and curvy, straight and tall. Page 48. Gopu said Some leaves are rough and some smooth. I love to touch and smell them. Simbi said, "Look, this jamun tree has nice thick and shiny leaves. Isn't it your special tree, Raj?" Raj agreed. "Yes, it is. You remember its tiny white flowers and remember the little green fruits which in a few days turned red and then purple. We enjoyed plucking the ripe purple fruits from the tree." Simi smiled. It's such fun to walk under the cool shade of these trees. Trees have a big trunk of wood and many branches that spread out with leaves on them. Trees have roots that go deep down into the soil. There are 8 different pictures of different kinds of trees: mango, coconut, kejri, jackfruit, banyan, Amaltas people chinar page 49 right write the names of trees that you can recognize try to remember where you have seen these trees which of these trees have you seen near your home or on your way to school shrubs all plants don't grow tall like trees look at this plant with pretty red flowers It doesn't have a big trunk like a tree," said Gopu. "Instead, it has many brown woody stems," added Raj. "These bushy-looking plants are called shrubs. Our tulsi plant at home is a shrub," informed Simi. "Shrubs are medium-sized plants with several woody stems and branches growing close to the ground." Here. We have four pictures of shrubs: hibiscus, rose, holy basil, tulsi, curry leaf. Page fifty. Do you know the pulses, dal we eat, tur, pigeon peas, masoor, red lentils, moong, green gram, and urad, black gram, are all seeds of shrubs. The pictures of tur, masoor, moong, and urad are given here. Write one. Write the names of some shrubs. Can you identify the shrubs given above? B. Two. Do you know what are they called in your mother tongue? Herbs and grasses. We have mint and tomato plants at home. Their stems are soft and green, said Raj. My grandmother told me that plants with tender stems that do not become woody are called herbs," added Gopu. Simi pointed to the grass. "Look at all these different grasses. They too have soft green stems. Their leaves are long, thin, and flat." Page fifty-one. "You are right, Simi. Do you think grasses are types of herbs too?" inquired Gopu. Herbs are smaller plants with soft stems that do not become woody. Grasses are types of herbs. The leaves of grasses are thin and flat and their stems are hollow. Watch for different kinds of grasses around you. How many kinds do you notice? Here the pictures of 6 herbs are given. Mint, tomato, coriander, mustard, wild grasses. page 52 do you know 
the grains you eat paddy that's rice wheat bajra jowar ragi etc are seeds of large grasses the pictures of paddy wheat bajra ragi jowar sugarcane and bamboo are given here sugarcane and bamboo are tall grasses bamboo is a special kind of grass which stays alive longer than just a year bamboo is a special kind of grass which stays alive longer than just a year right write the names of some herbs that you have seen and where you have seen them climbers and creepers look there is a vine winding up this tall tree exclaimed raj gopu agreed wow yes my friend george has a money plant in his house i was surprised to see how it spreads upwards it looks like it is slowly climbing the wall page 53 Simi explained that the money plant has a long and thin stem. It cannot stand up by itself. If it finds nothing to climb on, it just creeps and spreads on the ground. The pumpkin plant is also like a creeper too. I saw it spreading its branches on the ground, said Raj. Climbers and creepers have thin and flexible stems. The plants that grow by climbing on other plants for support are climbers. and the plants that grow by creeping along the ground are creepers some climbers even take their food from the plant on which they climb the pictures of three climbers are given here money plant jasmine bottle god the pictures of two creepers are watermelon pumpkin page 54 the picture of snake god is here guess 1 is this a creeper or a climber Two. What do you call it in your language? Right. One. Write the names of some climbers or creepers that you have seen and where you have seen them. Are any of them in the pictures given on page fifty-three? What are they called in your language? Two. Name these plants in your language. Say if they are a tree, shrub, climber, or creeper. Marigold is called banthi in Telugu. Neem is called Bevugida in Kannada, Jujubi or Beer is called Boroi in Manipuri. Fill in the blanks. Activity one. One. Stand in groups of two to four next to any tree or shrub that is in or near your school. Two. Now look around as far as you can see. Remember to look down near your feet as well. Three. How many kinds of trees, shrubs, herbs, grasses, climbers or creepers can you spot? Note to the teacher. Use the local names of various locally available plants. The difference between creepers and climbers may be demonstrated by showing children the real plants. Remember that some plants can behave either like climbers or creepers depending on the structural support available to them. Page 55 Activity 2 Make friends with a plant Choose one plant preferably a shrub with a thick stem or a tree that you want to make friends with You can do it by yourself or with a group of your classmates Name your plant just like you might name a pet Take care of the plant by watering it each day Also protect it as your friend Now observe your plant friend closely Here are a few things to observe its leaves flowers and fruits are there many a few or no leaves flowers and fruits record your observations in the table on the next page time and date of observation dash month dash weather on the day you are recording this information dash visit your plant friend as often as you can and observe it carefully there are five pictures different weather conditions picture 1 shows cloudy weather picture 2 shows bright sunshine picture 3 is showing rain picture 4 is of stormy weather picture 5 has hailstorm there is blank space for you to write under each picture
page 56 there is a table given on this page column 1 plant paths column 2 many a few or none column 3 color column 4 shape describe or draw column 5 any other observation plant paths leaves dash 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 flowers dash 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 fruits dash 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 fill the blanks activity 3 1 do you find new leaves growing on the plant do the colors of the leaves change as they grow larger 2 do the old brown leaves fall to the ground? 3. Do you find flowers appearing or notice any fruit? Do you find flowers appearing or notice any fruit? 4. What are other observations you have? Note down your observations. Write. Write about your plant in your notebook. Leaves of different plants have different colors, shapes and sizes. The pictures of Four different types of leaves are given here. People, mango, lotus, khejri. Let us explore further. Page 57 Activity 4 1. Observe the leaves in your surroundings. 2. Draw, colour and label them in your notebook. 3. Describe their colour, shape, size, texture and smell to your friend in the class. 4. What statements can we make about leaves after doing this activity? Leaves smell different from each other. I have noticed that tulsi, coriander, curry leaves, mint and lemongrass all have wonderfully different smells. Raj told Simi. Simi told Raj, Have you ever rubbed a mango leaf and smelled it? I love the smell. Raj added, This conversation reminds me of the lovely smell of mangoes. My brother is not able to see, but he can immediately smell any fruits nearby, like mango, pineapple, jackfruit, guava or jamun. Activity 5 Blindfold yourself while your friend gradually brings a fruit close to you. From how far can you recognize the fruit with your eyes closed? Now, repeat the same experiment with pieces of cut fruit. Was it easier to recognize cut fruit by the smell rather than the whole uncut fruit? Which fruit could you smell from farthest away? Try this experiment at home too. Page 58 Parts of a plant While learning about plants, we use the names of many parts of plants like roots, stems, leaves, flowers, fruits and seeds. Let us now look at a picture of a tomato plant and carefully observe the different parts. 1. What are the parts of a plant? 2. Mark different parts of the plant and label them. Here we have a picture of a tomato plant showing the different parts of this plant like stem, roots, seed, fruit, leaf and flower. Page 59 Activity 6. Get to know barks. Bark is the hard outer covering of a tree trunk. Touch and look carefully at the bark of a tree. Do you see any animals, insects or plants on it? Press a sheet of paper on the bark. Gently move a crayon or a pencil repeatedly on it. See what you have. Write the name or description of your tree on the reverse of the paper. Now, collect all the papers of your friends and see if you can guess the tree just by looking at its bark pattern. On the right side of this paragraph, we see a picture of a girl trying to trace the impression of the bark of the tree with the help of a paper and pencil. 1. Did you notice any kind of animals, birds and insects on the plant? 2. What were they doing? Do you know? 1. Sugar is produced from the sugarcane stem. 2. Bamboo is the tallest grass. 3. 
Rafflesia seen in Mizoram is the biggest flower and is as big as an umbrella. On the right side we see a picture of a girl looking at Rafflesia flower. Page 60. Let us reflect. A. Discuss. 1. What would happen if there were no plants? 2. How does the root help the plant to grow? 3. What is the role of the stem? B. Write. One list the names of plants that you have seen in your school, park, or near your home. Identify what types of plants are they: tree, shrub, herb, grass, climber, or creeper. Two. Which particular part of the plant helped you to identify the type of the plant? Three. Describe your favorite plant. Why is it your favorite? C. Draw. Draw different types of leaves you have seen around you. Page sixty one. D. Make a rangoli. Collect leaves and flowers fallen on the ground. Arrange them in patterns to make a rangoli. You may also create different animal shapes using the collected leaves. There are fifteen such pictures which are made by using leaves for your reference. Chapter four ends here. Our wondrous world. You were just listening to this audio book, textbook of EBS for class three. Narration: Richa Sayal. Technical coordination: Bati Langlingdo. Sound recordist: Virendra Rawat. Assistance in production: Chetna Sharma. Directed and produced by Vimalesh Chaudhary. This audio book is presented to you by C I E T N C E R T, New Delhi, India.